Hi guys, how's it going? This is Amanda from Amanda Around the Globe and today I am at my new Airbnb in Auckland. We're staying here for a few days until we move into our more permanent apartment. So I'm actually doing an apartment tour of this Airbnb and that will be my next video, so stay tuned for that. But today I want to talk to you guys about things that I've been loving lately. I don't usually do monthly favorites videos because I don't get new things every month. Today I'm really excited because I've compiled a list of things that I've been really, really liking lately that have really improved my life and made me a happier person. <laughs> So yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start with books. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this in a YouTube video, but I actually started a book club. I've talked about it on Instagram and on my website, and my book club has been a lot of fun for me lately. So we just got through the first month of the book club, and if you guys are interested in joining, I'll leave the link below. But for the first month, we read two books, so I give you guys the option of reading a fiction book or a non-fiction book. I personally like both, and I need a good balance of both of those in my life. In October, we read the book Quiet. It's about the power of introverts. I do consider myself an introvert. Basically, I just really, I like this book because it talked about why introverts are important in our society. So that was really good. I really, really recommend this. I'll leave links to everything that I talk about down below. It was really, really helpful for me to read because when I was younger, I always thought there was like something wrong with me because I was so shy. Like I was seriously so shy at one point in my life that I didn't speak to anyone at school for almost two years. Like that's my level of introversion. <laughs> the next book I read, which I don't have here because I read it seriously in almost one day. I think I read it in two days total and that is called The Couple Next Door. It's a fictional book and it is really good. It's a pretty quick read and it's really really good. It has some really good twists and turns and it's kind of like I don't want to give too much away, but it's kind of like a mystery. Yeah, just check that out if you really like fiction books. It's kind of comparable to The Girl on the Train is what they say, like with the twists and the turns. I don't know. That's just what I read. It'll be linked down below. I am going to release my new books for the book club um, today or tomorrow, so if you are interested in being a part of the book club, definitely sign up on the link down below and you will get an email with the books. I do want to mention that, of course, the book club is free to join. You don't have to pay anything. But if you are going to purchase the books on Amazon or online anywhere, it really, really helps me out if you guys use my links. I don't really like to use advertisements on my website or anything like that, but I do have to make an income. The way that I make income from my website and all of that stuff is through affiliate links. So when you guys purchase things through my links, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but I get a small commission from it. So if you guys are interested in supporting me in any way and you're planning on buying these things, I would really, really appreciate it if you used my link. Moving on, um, the next thing I would like to talk about is podcasts. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately. I never really got into them until now, but I just wanted to let you guys know the ones that I've been loving and the ones that I've been listening to. So number one that I listen to the most often is The Minimalists. That is a really, really good podcast. And another one that I really love is Maddie Moon. I found Maddie Moon's podcast because I met Maddie Moon in Thailand and we became really, really good friends. And I knew that she did a podcast, but at that time I didn't really listen to podcasts. So when I started listening to podcasts, I thought, oh, maybe I should check out Maddie's. And um, I actually really, really love it. There's a reason we became good friends. We're really interested in the same kind of thing. And she talks about a lot of things that really, really resonate with me. The next one that I listen to that I've just started listening to is TED Talks on podcast, which is really, really awesome because I love TED Talks. I listen to TED Talks all the time. I watch them on YouTube. And so being able to listen to them on a podcast is a really really good way to learn something new and kind of just expand your mind. Next thing I wanted to talk about is like health and beauty products. Um, I've been kind of on a journey lately to clear my skin and feel a bit more comfortable in my skin. When I first went vegan I had some massive breakouts which I've never experienced before and I still have some scarring from that. I found this website that I really really love. It's called Healthy Skin Glows and it's by Sarah Sumik. Her website has been so so helpful in um, learning more about natural skincare for me and about supplements and about 
a skincare routine that's like beneficial for sensitive acne prone skin. So I have been really, really loving that lately. If you're interested in learning more about how to take care of sensitive or acne prone skin, I definitely recommend her website. I'll link that down below. Okay, I have another thing that I want to show you guys. I've been really loving this charcoal whitening toothpaste. I'm gonna show you guys kind of like how I do it because it's really funny. So basically you have this, um, this is just the box and then there's a little container and you dip your toothbrush into the container and you brush your teeth for two minutes and I swear the first time I used it, I noticed a difference immediately afterwards. I think this has a lot to do with the fact that I drink coffee every day and it really just lifted those surface stains of the coffee. Michael was really jealous of how white my teeth got right afterwards and yeah, I think it was really, really, I love this stuff. Like, I really, really like it. It's not a substitute for toothpaste. I still brush my teeth with toothpaste as well but it's a really, really good natural whitening product. So I'll link that down below as well. So another thing I've been really, really loving is this Mad Hippie Vitamin A Serum. There you go. Um, this stuff has been changing my skin, I swear, at first. It took a while actually to make a difference. The first couple of weeks that I was using it, it felt like it was making my skin worse, but when I talked to Michael, he actually knows a lot about skin. Uh, when I was talking to Michael, he was saying that the vitamin A serum can actually bring out all the impurities in your skin so it makes it look worse and then it really starts working to clear your skin. And the more I've learned about skin, the more I've realized that vitamin A is a really, really important part of skincare. A topical treatment has been really, really helpful for me and this brand, Mad Hippie, is all vegan and cruelty free and it's very, very natural, which I am loving. So the next thing I have been really, really loving, I've talked about this before, is my Cabin Zero backpack. This is a 28 liter backpack and believe it or not, I actually fit all of my stuff to travel to New Zealand in this backpack. I really love this backpack because not only is it perfect for travel, but I actually use it in my everyday life. I can use my backpack as a reusable shopping bag, I can use it for groceries, I can use it if I'm carrying a lot of stuff to work because it's not a massive backpack, it looks just like a day backpack. It's a little bit... It's a little bit bigger, I think, than some day backpacks, but I think it's just like a really great size for everyday use as well as travel use. Cabin Zero also makes um, some packing cubes. And this, I just use one of them right now. I just use the biggest one and I put all of my clothes in here. And I have a few other ones that I left at home, but these are actually so much higher quality than the packing cubes that I was using before because the ones that I was using before, I had them for about a year and a half and they were already falling apart. And like, obviously I do use packing cubes quite often because I travel full time, but I don't think that packing cubes are something that get like a lot of wear and tear. I don't think it should be falling apart after a year and a half. So these Cabin Zero ones are a lot higher quality. I am just really happy with those. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that link down below. Works really well for me. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like these types of videos, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it and I can make more like this in the future. It, let me know what you've been loving in the comments below because I'm always interested in what people are like really into these days. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.